back, and so is AC Pixel with some pretty big updates. Remember that that video that I made about shoutouts a while ago? Don't even worry about that video anymore. Let me show you what's new and how it might make your shoutouts just a little bit better. So make sure you go to pixelchat.tv, use either your Twitch, Glimish, or Trovo. And this is the new scene that you're going to get. For right now, let's just go to overlays. If you're like me, you're gonna have a ton of stuff. But for today, let's just pretend that you have nothing, an empty canvas. You're gonna click on the top right or create new overlay. Click on shoutouts. And right at the bottom, or if you have an empty canvas, it's gonna show picture shout overlay. Go to edit. As you can see, all of it's a little bit different. There are a couple key elements that you need to know. For example, the color textures are different. The themes look a little different. And for you Twitch streamers, there's one specific thing that you can do that no others can. But let's start off with the new look. This is the new look. It's pretty sleek, but there's two modes. This is classic and this is modern. Now, as you can see, you have text color, accent color, background color, etc., etc., etc. If you go to test shout out, this will show up. You can change the text color to whatever you want. You can change the accent color of the ring around the streamer. You can change the background color. You can change one of the three granite colors that are all over the background. You can even hide the background. One of the other things that you can do is make it look round or more boxy. In my opinion, I like things round. So what you do is you play with the shout out box corner rounding. Do it however you want. Me personally, I like it all the way. You can change the face font from the plethora of stuff that Pixel has given you, but me, I use my own personal one. Now this, this is probably my favorite part. Show random Twitch clip. But again, it's only from Twitch. You can also show the last thing that they were streaming and also their, sh their follower account. And it'll look just like this. Right there on the top right, that's the follower account. Last stream, just shapes and beats. I don't know. There's also their Twitch link, and that is an actual clip from their Twitch stream. Now this is the classic mode. And that is the modern one. You have your clip, you have your avatar, you have the link, what they were last playing, and also the amount of followers that they have. Now the bottom is just the same as the last video that I did. This is the message that'll show up. This is the header. This is the command, which most of us use, SO, and the amount of time that'll show up. Now you can do it for however long you want. I really still feel like seven seconds is more than enough time. It gives them a spotlight and it also doesn't take away from your stream. But the one thing that could take away from your stream is the audio from the clip. You don't have to mute the clip. You can keep the audio the way that you want it to. However, personally, I feel like it takes away from your gameplay, from your chat, and even from your teammates. You don't want to inundate people with all of this stimulus and throw audio on top of it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. And also I stream here now on YouTube. Stop by, subscribe to the channel and also ask me questions in chat. Until next time.